Hey guys, welcome to episode 4 of season 2 of the AC Milan Chrome. I'm just going to kick it off with the transfer of Donnarumma in goal for Matt Magnon. If this is your first time watching me, you have no idea why I'm replacing Matt Magnon in goal. It's because last season, this guy was the most, one of the most insane goalkeepers I used in this game. But in season 2, especially if you go back and watch the last episode, you'll get basically the most um, like understanding in that video of why I'm going to replace him. It's because... In 16 appearances, he only put up two clean sheets. And you could be like, yeah, the defence isn't helping him out, but it's it's been him. It hasn't been the defence. Mavropanos, Kalulu, you know, anyone else, uh, Pavard and Tamori, they've been great. But when it comes to the goalkeeping position, Matt Magnon, we just can't trust him. He is not a goalkeeper that I look at right now. I think I can trust him being a goal and we're not going to concede. When, I'm, when the strikers one-on-one -on -one with him and they shoot near post, it always goes in. If they shoot across goal, there's a chance he's going to save it. As you can see, we've got four options here for the goalkeeper position. But as you probably see by the thumbnail, this is the man who's going to be returning to Italy. A team he used to play for before moving to PSG. Things haven't quite gone his way at PSG, which is why I think he should leave PSG. It's not been, it wasn't the best chance for him. I think he should have stayed in Milan and built up his career over there. A bit like uh, the man who shares his name, Buffon. Did for Juventus. Obviously, formerly played at Palmo. Obviously, moved to Juventus. Stayed there for the longest time. Then moved to PSG. Then moved back to Palma to finish his career. Now, Donnarumma, however, is going to cost us 130 million. And we've only got, I believe, 107 million in the budget. Which means we're going to sell Matt Onion or try to swap him for uh, Donnarumma first. Let's get into this episode. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. We've got a lot to get through in this episode. A bunch of games. The Champions League round of 16. Let's get into it and hopefully we can perform at our very best once again. Okay, well, as you can see in the news, Tony Roma has re signed for AC Milan with her, given 50 million plus Matt Magnon to PSG for his services, which is absolutely insane. Magnon's worth 80, so 50 more plus that is about Tony Roma's value, so it kind of makes sense. And uh, yeah, as, as you will see, um, I don't think it will show us here, but um, we're going to take on Udinese here. Matt Magnon has returned to PSG, as he formerly played for them. And here we're going to be taking on Udinese to start the episode off in the very first game. Donnarumma returns to San Siro. Let's get into this game and hopefully, hopefully, it ain't going to just be the same thing again with Matt Magnon. Hopefully Donnarumma performs well and puts in an incredible debut and proves everyone right in the fact he should rejoin AC Milan in this chroma. Let's get into it. Okay, tada. It's got 11 goals already in this campaign. But shot there was blocked and it's going to be a free kick and we have been incredible from free kicks as of recently. Obviously though we have a certain Argentinian who's going to be taking this one. He's already scored one for us, Lionel Messi. To open the scoring here from the free kick. Lionel Messi off the crossbar. It's unfortunate but back here is Fikaya Tamori with a power strike and it's over the bar but it's not a bad attempt from the centre back. I'm going to see this on the replay here as you'll see. A little bit less power, and that's fun in the top corner. Can they prize them open now? From the Watford, obviously, Eden is and Watford, I believe, are owned by the same owner, which is why people have questioned quite a lot of decisions the club has made, especially the transfers of like, you know, Pereira and the FA going back and forth quite a few times. Some good play here. David Neres. Travella, that isn't on there, but the first strike is. And Silvestri in the Udinese goal denies this, but Tonali. Is Tomori going to be in the mood to score headers this episode? That's the question. Right now, it's a no. Messi gets that. Messi now. Tonali. Which might better say from range. We know we can hit them off the post. Speaking of, we know we can hit them. It's my better say, though. Second attempt. Better say this time, straight into the goals of Silvestri. Margins, but let's see and and Neres, one touch, lines it up, Moving shot from range, Silvestri is on form though today. Sonali, in, looking for Tamori, a little bit under hit there, Messi, is it David Neres? David Neres, lines up the strike, it's blocked and it's out for another corner, but Arsalan, a string of uh, attacks over and over again here, Tonali in, looking for the Ketanar, who wins the header? But we're denied by Silvestri and now on the other side. Tamori in Tamori, surely Tamori. Now sure, this one the header, but 
didn't get the greatest connection, but Ancivestri was able to just take it over. He had to watch that, though. De Ketelar runs into the gap. I felt we should have scored there. So if he'll be able to just power past them. That's it. Couldn't get the ball over the top. Oh, it's a great ball. Beto, Donnarumma. Donnarumma beaten. First shot is face is beaten. Adonis have done nothing all game. And their first shot goes in. Has he in that much space though? What so happened? I don't know if he tries coming out and blocking it, but Beto proves why he's a pretty decent striker. And puts the ball in the back of the net to put him winding up here in a game we've completely dominated. That's actually their first shot they've scored. Tried the Kenny, tried the, the Canio effort from range. It's actually blocked and it's out for a corner. I thought that was just a straight shot to Mori. That's yours. To Mori, bicycle kick. Why has he put out the bicycle kick? I mean, if he scored, fair enough, but he could have won ahead header easily. I picked up another injury. Arsenal now. The player that's been performing well in this game so far. David Neres. Ben lines it up and it's blocked. And another corner at eighth corner of the game. We should not be losing this game. I really shouldn't. Denali. Oh, I'll tell you when I'm just going to win the header. David Neres, wait for his last episode. He went with the wrong foot, though. Let's see. Yeah, I'm making the run. I feel like we need to change change something about this team right now. I'm not sure what it is. But Messi, first time effort, it's a vestry. How are we not winning this game? I really don't know. Corner whipped in. To Mori. Can't win the header. Shot there. Oh, seriously. Seriously. Sonali. And again. Taylor Nandes, launch yourself at that. If we end up losing this game. Get to law. Now they are. They are. Where's that pace come from in the pass? And that, that ball wasn't moving that fast when I let it run through. Well, really Keeper denies Mori, that should be yours every other week. How they got to that before us? No, surely not. You can't give a pen ref. I wouldn't be surprised if she did. She did it against well, the uh, Pavard last episode. It was far from Milan a pen. Okay, to last one. I've struck it there. Ref, handball as well. Should have a. And the penalty is out. Oh, what has happened? How in the world are we losing this game? I really don't know. It's meant to bring on Brahim. I completely forgot there, but Neres through here. Ketelar, surely this is the leveller. Brahim now over the top. Balagorn. Balagorn header. Now someone test this goalkeeper, bro. Someone test this keeper because. As you can see, it wasn't even close, was this it? Is, no, oh, this is the point. performance of his life. Great challenge for tomorrow. What do you mean? Oh, what has happened there then? I guess it should do anything to not allow me to win this game. Not get anything from this game as well. I should be more than comfortable winning this. Neres now. And a quick inside. David Neres, great quick inside now. Neres. Through here. Armada, finish. There we go, finally. We've got a goal in this game. We should have had a goal 80 minutes ago. I've literally had like 20 push shots and I've had like single digit shots. But a point is a point if you get a point. I, I want to win. Raheem using his pace, using the fresh legs for him, Diaz. To win us the game, Armada, it falls back to Armada and finally, finally a little bit of luck goes my way. 
I deserve it so much. This game has been... I could not have played any better football any other day. I win this game other than yesterday. Any other day other than today. Well, not today, but you know what I mean. Like, I win this 8-0, something like that. I win this, it's a domination, a domination game where it's over in the first half. But finally, Tilgo Armada, or it's taken his Tilgo Armada apparently. I get lucky with the bounce from Brahim's shot going to him, but Armada grabs two goals. And looks like he's going to grab us a win here. And if he does, then he couldn't have more of a better season. Ref just blow the whistle the second it reaches 90 second minute. Come on, that. Come on. Good challenge there, Pavel. Now, there we go. Thank you to any, if there's any all seeing over being out there, thank you for that victory. Because when I tell you it has not been more deserved, look at that. 23, and they had two. 160, uh, 177 passes, sorry. And if you think about shots on target, I've had 20, uh, 23 shots, 17 on target. Three of them went off target and three of them were blocked. They had one on target and scored. Okay, up against uh, Sampdoria here. We're down in 12th place in the league. The second team is going to play this one. And for our next game of the first team, we have a new formation we're going to try out. Pepega, Hodgland and Balagun score. Both strikers scoring goals. Let's see that. We get a three more victory up against Sampdoria. Okay, so if you look at the, if you look at the calendar here, I've just we've got three very big games Line up got Roma who are second in the league, or Inter Milan who are first undefeated all season long in the Super Cup final, and then we have Napoli in the league straight after. We've got an insane January here after that insane game against Udinese, which we eventually got the win in. And so Kedagiri and obviously Monza, but we can then take on Real Madrid, Lazio, and Inter in the month of February. Like, we've got some very big games coming. We also fight Udinese at the start of uh, February as well. That's going to be a tough game for us. We're up against Roma here. We are going to play this one. We're going to test out our new formation here, which I'll show you here. And uh, get, get, go a little bit more in depth with it. As you can see, Roma, I believe, last episode. I can't remember if we beat them. I didn't mean to back out there. Uh, did we beat Roma last episode? I don't think we did. You think, did we lose to Roma? Or did we draw against Roma? I think we might have drew against Roma. I'm not too sure. But I know last episode, we didn't perform the greatest against Roma. As you can see, with this formation, we've actually just tight end up the team a little bit more. The thing that the hour never is with the possession football we're trying to play aren't really involved in the uh, play style. One thing I need to actually change is this one balance the fast build up and possession. But just to run you through it here, as you'll see, obviously we've got the gate line normal. We've got um, the hour on stay forward and getting behind because he's the more of a finisher than there is. We've got Neres on common short and stay forward so you can dribble more with the ball and just get more involved in the play and link up play. Both of these on balance for now and cover centre. Messi is on uh, balance as well, as well as state forward, I believe. Oh, we'll let him do whatever he wants. Teo Hernandez and everyone else here on state back. Need him on comfort crosses. And we'll try out super keeper as well. we test it out for this game against Roma. Roma have a pretty good team. They've got Johnson's and Ezra Conte, two English centre-backs in their team. But let's get into this one up against Roma. And um, just perform better than we did last episode against them. That'd be great. The game is against me. No matter, no matter what it does, it's against me. Good block there by Teo Hernandez, so I'll keep that on the pitch. As well, love that. Mateo needs an option though. As I was saying, if I was really cut off by what happened, but we'll get cut off this time by something much more important. We'll take it. it wasn't a conventional finish from the Caterar. His shot was saved by Lopez, but it rebounded up off Lopez into the path of the Caterar. It's bounced off him into the back of it but what, what I was, I've been trying to say ever since I saw that graphic is Roma are the best away team we're the best zone team the Sincero is a fortress that teams struggle against that team struggle in I should say it's a small team that uh, benefit here at home obviously and yeah we get very lucky there Decay Tadam makes it 1-0 and hopefully we can continue our good home record here and not pick up our loss to Roma Decay Tadam this time strikes it Lopez so he's not to know from the corner. Only Messi isn't coming short this time. And Tamori has the header. That Lopez denies him. And this is when the header this time, though. Messi making the run this time. Opening up the room for someone else to make a run. But Tamori's header is into the back of the net. And he's back. He goes through weird patches of form where he will score from corners, not score from corners, and score from corners again. 
it changes pretty much every episode. Uh, episode one of season two, he scored what three goals, I believe, from corners, two headers and a volley. That last episode, he scored none and was non-existent from corners. And this one is one header that was saved by Lopez, and then scored a, a header from the resulting corner. And it's now two 0 here to uh, AC Milan. Unfortunately for us, Calabria is uh, Over up at Calabria. David now got to Neres. Messi to Tonali. Tonali. To the Ketelar, please be back on side. The Ketelar is back on side. And it's 3 0. Roma are second in the league, but we don't struggle against them. It's weird. I've had this a couple of times against teams that are like, you know, second or first place in Chromos. You don't struggle against them. It's weird. But now and again you will. It's like it's very rare you play a game against the top of the table team when you've got a good team yourself, and will struggle if you're good at the game, obviously, if, and you can play and you've got a good team that works well. But we're freeing it up here. The Ketelar makes it to uh, three 0 Sorry, goes to the second of the game, and so we're going to cruise to another victory up against Roma. So now that pass was meant for Messi in what world? And we're going to try to get that to the out there when Messi's all the way through. Tomori, okay, Tomori, I know, I know he's probably your friend, Tommy Abraham. I know Tommy Abraham is probably your friend. But how has he not won the ball there? Eh? And I'm going to prove to you that he should have won the ball, because you probably didn't see it clearly there. But watch this. How is Tommy Abraham coming to win the ball there? Eh? A, Tenali should be going in for a second challenge there. And, to, and Tomori, why is he backing away? Like, why is he backing away there? And how is he on side? And it's 3-1. For a second, Calabria was going to mess it up there. Make it a lot more complicated than it needed to be. And we're a good roll out now. Well, I think Compared to Neres. Neres now. Into Charles to Ketela. Go try the keeper. I'm surprised that worked. I don't know. So, Junior does just move to Arsenal. Interesting transfer there. Play that we could have brought back, obviously, but we didn't. We kept Calabria and obviously kept Frenzy instead because they're good players. We got fortunate there. We got very fortunate. The Ketelar makes it a hat trick. Makes it a hat trick. But Lopez should he get the ball? Yes, Lopez should get the ball. Well, we're going to take everything we can. And the Ketelar gets fortunate, but makes himself a hat trick hero in this game. Launch yourself at that. Uh, Taylor Anderson launch yourself like he has done before, but Neres now. Uh, that would have been nice if that went through. Wouldn't have gone in, but probably would have looked nice. Ketelar goal. There you go. That vision. The spot that ball into Ketelar there is great for me. I could have passed it to Messi. Could have passed it to the player in the edge of the box. I'm not sure who it was, but I saw the Ketelar in a position and I thought, you know what, Tonali can play this pass. You see right here, like, I saw, I saw him in the centre. I was like, you know what, he's open. Let's try it. And Ketelar makes it 5-1 here. Because this fourth quarter of the game, as I mentioned, we don't struggle against Roma for some reason. They're the team that we don't struggle against. Just keeping the ball close. And ketelar has got the room. The Ketelar. Let's see about Lopez. The five went up here. Bellotti coming off the pitch. Corner here. Tonali. Tomori for a second that he has. Tomori. Hopefully he can continue this. Going to make a bunch of changes in a second. Probably going to make five changes on this because obviously we've got the game against Inter coming up. We're, going to not, we're not going to take on Messi, we're going to play Brahim in that game. We're going to change our attack and probably one or two players in midfield. I'm not so sure yet. But tomorrow with a good header there, got the second of the game from the penalty, well, from the penalty spot technically, around the penalty spot. Uh, from a corner, from that danger area, and tomorrow makes it 6 1 here. Arente. Tomori, good challenge. Clearly, is now his defensive partner. But goes on the pitch as well, as well as Salamakas, Ahmad, and Balagun. Balagun now for the centre to Leo Messi. Leo Messi to make it 7 1. Lionel Messi off the post and in. And Lionel Messi, I thought he was going to have a quiet episode, but he gets himself a goal. Balagun is a creator. I didn't expect that from him. I, I forgot to use a, a, a number again here. It's still number 13. But Messi holds off the, uh, John Stones there. And it's a great finish by Messi to make it 7-1 against the second team in the league. This is the statement that we're coming for Inter 
and we're coming back for that title that we are the champions of currently, or the holders of currently. So we brought him off to save him for that game against Inter in two days' time. What's happened there then? What's happening here? What's happening here? I have they scored, man. 7-2, that one goal left repeating the scoreline in the last episode, but it's similar to last episode, they're the scoring goals, but they, they don't deserve to score. Sandro Tonali. Tommaso Bobega. Into the position. Balogun, oh, good drift around, Balogun, get the strike away, Balogun! There you go, have that, Roma, have that, 8-2. And I'm not going to make the terrible joke, you know, the, I'm not going to say it. But you know what, Jacob, and Jacob, but if you know the score line 8-2, you know the joke that some people make. It isn't a funny joke, I'm not, so I'm not going to make it. Well, it How about a Gets an assist on a goal. Good uh, performance at the bench from him. And it's 8-2. And he really That'll bring well. a challenge. Oh, no. Okay, it's 8-2 victory against Roma. Let's get into the Super Cup final. Up against Inter, and hopefully that man decayed that I can, can grab more goals. Okay, we're well, here, the Italian Super Cup that we ended up winning last season against Inter in a game. I actually won it on uh, late on. We actually won it 2 when I remember the game didn't record all the way through, so we're going to play the highlights of this one this time. Because Inter have actually just lost their first game in the league. They lost at home against Juventus 1-0. I saw it in the, um, you know, where it shows the results after a game. I saw it there, which I thought, you know what, uh, a team that's coming off a loss, this is maybe the chance for us to get the better of them. They, look, they beat us in the league. Let's hopefully do uh, what we did last season and beat them in the cup final. Let's get into the highlights and hopefully lift this uh, trophy once again. Because the first time it goes to us on the counter, it's like uh, five minutes in. Uh, Brahim Diaz, what's your touch going to be like from this one? It's across the ground, so he's going to control it well. And Neres. Okay, Neres, he's got one option ahead of him, indicated that he's going to play it, please go inside, take it down, get to the, f oh, we've got looking at Inter, but we're back on the attack here, no, Inter on the attack actually from that attack we just had, why is this defensive line, I should, like, the defensive line in highlights is so weird, if you just look at the menu up at the bottom, every time you have a defensive highlight, the defence is just in a, such a weird shape, okay, we're putting the challenge, we haven't won the ball, typical, but they are now potential danger. Cabrera Tonali could have won the ball there. Tonali got a good win there. Good positional play. Now 14 minutes in. But on the attack here on the uh, right hand side. Is it on the ball? Why is it Tonali? Leal. Leal. Through here. To Charles de Ketala. It doesn't matter if the team's been messed up and messed around. Charles de Ketala. It's in goal scoring form, coming up for four, four, I believe four goals or five goals up against Roma. Scores one here against Inter to open the scoring. And we can get a second one here, De Ketela. What's the option? Do we play it or do we shoot? That's, that's the question. Going to be unselfish. De Ketela. Rafael Yao. There we go. Rafael Yao, assisted by Charles De Ketela, makes it 2-0. And as of right now, we're winning the Italian Super Cup. Grabbing our first trophy this season. Things you have to see. After this rumble, we'll take on uh, Napoli in two days. That's a very big game as well. Not sure where they are in the league at this point. They're not doing the greatest, but they're not a bad team, obviously. Uh, quite a formidable team. As we all know, likes of Ozzy Men and Kavachi Kelia. Now the Al. Getting the better of the uh, Inter Milan defence yet again. The Al. Finds the Kate Tala, but Andre and Arna was there this time. Into now on the attack, trying to get themselves back into this game. It's only 36 minutes in, mean, they've got a lot of time ahead of them. I try and do it, obviously, we hope they don't do it. But Avara Morata blocked by Tomori. Love that. And now into 53 minutes and have a solo run here. Not sure why Tomori is so far back. Uh, or is, I'm not sure who is actually all this way back. What's happened? Blocked by Tomori. Good work. I believe those teams made some worse substitutions as it usually does in highlights, but into back on the attack here. Kaluga's been brought on for whatever reason. Not sure why, but we allow it, I guess. It's not a bad defender. Tomori, good block there. Good show physicality. Good job at cut away there. So we're about to get dispossessed with that pass that I played. 
with David Neres up against one defender. David Neres. I'm sure this defender is it's quite a formidable one has to defeat. Shasta Ketela, why not? Shasta Ketela, but the form is in. He can shoot from there. It's a two-nil victory in the Italian Super Cup. And win the trophy. Obviously not the biggest trophy to win in the season. But Charles to Ketela and the Owls goals. Get us the victory here. We do deserve the victory. Thrones is on the pitch. Get into the uh, cup for us. He's been brought on for whatever reason. But fair enough. Obviously, he, he, he performed at striker around this time last season. We're playing at striker at one point because we figured out he can't play striker. But he's been right back ever since, and he's been playing some good, uh, good games in the second team. Obviously, he's 82 rated now. We kind of revived his career a little bit, boosted his um, overall up to an 82. But Alessandro Ferenzi, a player who's gone around in his career quite often, returning to AC Milan, gets left the Italian Super Cup here. And let's get into our next game against Napoli. Okay, so as you can see, we're going to be taking on Napoli here. Currently sitting in fourth place in the league with second place, level on points of Inter at top of the table with 52 points. So a win here, depending on results elsewhere, means we will go top of the table. So let's get into this one up against Napoli. Obviously, two brothers going against each other in this game, Lucas Hernandez and Teo Hernandez. And let's get into this game and hopefully beat Napoli here to try and get into that first spot in the table and make a quite com impressive comeback considering how our season has been going so far. Much looking forward to bringing you okay, we're well, up against uh, Napoli here in the snow. As you can see in Naples, it's snowing. And Sandra Tonali has a corner to take here early on. Sandra Tonali in the 16th minute whips it in. Looking for the header for Kaya Tamori. It isn't Tamori, it's Teo Hernandez who celebrates in front of his brother, scoring against him. Makes it 1 0 to Milan. That's a good moment for him, obviously, scoring a goal. He rarely scores for us. He scored at Trevetta last episode. He scored a bullet header in recent episodes where he just launched himself into the wall. But he makes it 1-0 here. And obviously Napoli trying to get back into this one. On the attack here, I believe it's Nguyen sat on the ball. A former, was he a former Fulham player? But he plays with Victor Ozzyman. Who obviously was a player at Napoli, I believe, on 150 more for if, he, if uh, a team wants to buy him. Need to do better there. Need to do better there, uh, Calabria. He could tell the pass was coming. I could tell it was coming. Lozano makes it 1-1, but the game didn't help me out there, you know, again, they just allowed that pass to work. Okay, we made changes there, Teo Hernandez, in here to Leal. Leal shoots, it's blocked by Romani. I the formation's been changed, I believe we're playing a different formation than we started the game with, which I hate about the, about the, um, the highlights just in the fact that it just changes your team around to whatever it wants. At Messi. Praise through Rafael Leal. Rafael Leal. Chavela. There we go. That's what I wanted in the other game. Leal makes it 2 1 here in the 50th minute, assisted by Lionel Messi. It doesn't matter if the game changes our formation because no matter the formation, we've got the players to make it work. And Leo Messi off the great, after a great through ball. A good finish by Leal, and now follow it up with a corner here by Sandro Tonali. They try and make it 3 1. Can Fakaya Tomori or anyone else get on the end of it? It's whipped in. Not sure who it was going for it, but it goes out. And it would have been a goal kick, I believe, because now Napoli are only attacking the 70th minute, trying to get back into this one. Obviously, last time they did, after Herven Hazano's shot was, uh, went in. And Gisa now, Aussie men, over here to clutch the carrier. That bounce doesn't, doesn't favour us there. Even though it probably should have been because it went towards us, but good challenge there from Pavard. And the final attack of the game is actually probably going to be a Napoli one in the 18th minute here. Ozyman is quite a bit far aside, I believe. There he is. Kovacic Cariello making a run. Now Pavard slides. Elmas makes it 2 2. I wanted to slide towards him, not across him. And somebody to slide into him to you know block the um block the pass it was gonna play, but it went across him. Which just wasn't the challenge I was trying to make. And so Napoli level it up here and to make it 2-2. And we we'll get a draw here in, in Naples in the snow. The okay, in the round of 16 here of the Coppola Italia, the second team is up. Uh, so we'll see if they can get the result against Calagero. We get a 2-0 two-one vic two victory, sorry, with Luca Nets and Hoshland grabbing the goals. Okay, for this game up against Monza, we are going to sim this one, but we're going to get Brahim to start in this one. Also, we need to get him, we need him to get enough game time. We are actually, no, we're going to keep Balogun on the bench. 
And we're going to quick send this one ahead up against Monza, as I said. And we're going to pick up a 3 1 victory. Uh, Neves, Liao, and Decay that are grabbing goals. Okay, for this game up against uh, Udinese here, they're currently held out in his seventh. We aren't going to play this one against them. We're going to quit submit with the first team. And we should get a victory here up against them. We'll pick up a 3 0 victory. Liao grabbing two goals, and Decay that are grabbing the goal. Okay, as you can see, we picked up a 4 1 victory with the second team up against Brescia in the Coppa Italia quarterfinals with Hodgson. Uh, grabbing one and took our Marta grabbing a hat trick. Love that from him. He's been a great breakout season him uh, in the season he is. Okay, for this game against Lazio, who are down in four places in the league, but we're going to play a, a slightly rotated team against him. As you can see, Kalulu, Brahim, Salah, Makas, Balagun, and Tiago Armada coming for this because we've got the Champions League round of 16 first leg up against the Real Madrid after this. So we need to rest, obviously, a few of our first team players for that one. Let's get into the game against Lazio, a team that we drew 4 4 with in the last episode. And remember, they didn't deserve a point in that game. They got a late equaliser with uh, Milinkovic Savic. But let's get into this one, get revenge in the home stadium and grab the three points this time round. And Juma now, good work there from Kalulu. The Honestly, Kalulu, if he plays well here, could put in the uh, question of the fact should he be starting over uh, Benjamin Pavard? Or Balagun. So make it 1 0 here. Yes, he is. Balagun again having a breakout season for himself here. And yet again, I thought to change this number. I will do it either after this game or in the episode. I'm going to write it down in my notes real quickly on my phone. And yeah, better goal. What a season he's having. Alongside Hoshlund, those two are great backup strikers. Origi has lost his place in this team, which is probably so Origi, as well as Ante Rebic, because they're not playing. But we're just keeping them on the, on the team just in case we need them. But better goal makes it 1 0 here and showing that without the KTL R, we can still score goals. And that's your throw in. So now he gets a bit of him there though. And now Salamakas. Through to Balagoon. Ferrari and Balagoon. Got his second goal. Off the game under pressure, but he keeps, he keeps composure. And makes it 2 0 here. I thought for a second the composure was going to let him down. He kept his cool. Regain control of the ball. And just put it past Maximiliano and goals to make it 2 0 here. And if it make it 3 0 without him scoring, we're going to quit in this game. And Balagun, I thought it was over, but he gets it just before Maximiano and puts the ball in the back of the net to his second goal of the game. Love that from young English talent. Balagun, Salamakas, Balagun. Good save from the Portuguese goalkeeper. Balagun's had five shots this game, scored two obviously. But that's his Salamakas, Chevalier attempt blocked. It's going to be a free kick though, Tanala's on the pitch. And Ali is on the pitch, he scored two uh, free kicks, scored one last episode that I didn't expect him to score. Tonali, to make it 3-0 here, Sandra Tonali from the free kick. As it counted, we're getting the replay. We're getting the replay, so I think it's counted, it did a wet glitch there. We're going to make sure, so I mean it's glitched out. This cuts away as it goes in. And it is 3-0, Tonali, we get... Can we watch that in the replays again? Oh, let's get a replay of it. Is it glitched out? Let's see what I mean. Tonali hits it and it cuts away because for some reason the game just glitched. As I said, it's 3 0 here. Tonali with a great free kick there. We're going to jump to a result here. And it ends up being a 3 0 victory against Lazio. Let's get into the game against Real Madrid and hopefully get a, a good win in the first game. Okay, well, here we are. The Champions League uh, round of 16 up against Real Madrid, who obviously have a pretty good team. Got Kyle Walker Peters at right back and Justin Sonny got Alfonso Davies. They've also got Danny Sabios in their team at centre mid. Interesting. Not the Romero team I'd expect to face, but still a pretty good team. Can we think I'm sure many midfielders you can see for this game? We are starting on the usual lineup with Messi in the camera roll. And we'll see where on about Messi versus Real Madrid. Can he show out here in the burn of our lucky like used to for Barcelona? And uh, help us get a victory here in the first leg to make it as comfortable as we can going into the second leg. Because beating Real Madrid. It's a big team to knock out early on because obviously they're the favourites to win it in most seasons in this in real life. So let's get into this game and hopefully be the kings of the Champions League. Today's game very much on him, facing his former club, facing his past, and that's not always straight. Oh, we can save. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. 
Yeah, I'll just want to go around Kyle Walker Peters. Yeah, oh, oh, that's great. That is incredible from Rafael Leal. Intricate dribbling. And that should be the outcome against Carl Walker Peters. Of all right backs in the world of football, that's when I ended up at, eight, at Real Madrid, sorry. Leal wins that ball every the week. Carl Walker Peters ain't a good defender. There's a reason why he's at Southampton. And Rafael Leal puts the ball in the back of the net here. Bates that Courtois goes around him and puts the ball in the back of the net to make it 1 0 here. Like, I make the challenge, won the ball, and again goes, actually, it's going to go the other way. Even though physics says it's going to go the other way, you know, it's going to go forwards up the pitch after you put no more force into it, but you know. Okay, good save or block, whatever that was. Whoever stopped that from going in, good work. I've been there is now. How? Messi. Neres over the top, the Kate Tadar, second goal. There we go. That's a great header. That's an incredible header from the Kate Tadar. Makes it 2 0 uh, here against Real Madrid. Yeah, that's great. I'm sorry for being quiet there. I'm just thinking. Uh, I just know this is going to go somewhere. This is going to go somewhere. Real Madrid are going to get back into this game somehow. That's a great, great uh, over the top through ball from David Neres. An like, incredible header. When Charles the to that up over to the quarter tile. That's what needs a header to get that up and over the keeper and have it dip in. From that range, it's not easy. But the Kate Tadar pulls it out and makes it 2 0 here. Now it has happened on the track. Yeah, sure, it's Calabria. I tell you, Hernandez, sorry. Tell Hernandez, forward. Oh, yeah, that's great. The Kate Tadar, you need to score. Rafael Leal will take a while. That heel to heel flip from Leal was filthy. It's, it's simple. It's not the most flashiest scum movie we'll ever see in FIFA. But to uh, fool the centre back like that with it, it's great. It literally had it made him stand still. It's allowed Leal to go past him and play the ball into Kate Tadar. We'll sit again here. Let's look at that. And the Kate with a great finish there, makes it 3 0. And we're going to an easy victory against Real Madrid. Oh, what was that movement? What was that movement? What was that movement? No. No, 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 no. I need to show you what I'm on about. I need to show you what I'm on about. It happens quite a lot in this game. When you go to move a centre-back a little bit, you know, you just go to step them up a slight bit, and then they do that. And why is he... It's forced me to do that. I'm pointing... At this moment right now, I'm pointing straight at Valverde. When I'm... When at the second... I select him right here, and as I'm pointing straight at Valverde, but against me, Pavard... Move like that, and I, then at this point here, that's where my actual and that's where my control is being allowed to take control. Take control, but this right here, despite me being selected to him, it's just a game moving him for no reason. It just allows Pavard, uh, not Pavard, allows him in, and then the score. The game that she stopped me from making the challenge and let them score. I mean, that probably should be a free kick. Oh, I hate when it happens when your player just skips around. One of their players. Oh, it's, it's free two. How in the world is it free two? I knew this was going to happen. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Well, you can absolutely sense the frustration growing in the opposition camp. They can't get near the ball. Benassa. There we go. It's a 3 2 victory. Sorry for being really quiet there. I was just concentrating on keeping the ball. But it's a 3 2 victory here. They don't think there's a goal. They really don't. But it's the way this game goes. It's unfortunate the way FIFA is right now. But it is where it is. And we get a victory to any episode. And hopefully, Neres isn't fully injured. Okay, to end episode here, as, uh, to end the, okay, to end the episode, I'm going to see the is second in Serie A, two points by an Inter Milan, who we do take on at the start of next episode. Now, in terms of possible formation changes, because we switched to a 4 one 4 one which allows us to keep a CDM in the team, obviously bring a CDM into the team, I should say, but it would be Sandra Tonali as a CDM to make, just offer our defence a little bit more cover. I feel like we're kind of missing that. I feel like it might be letting us down. Next episode, we're going to try that. 
Now, when it's over, we moved it, obviously, to be left wing and right wing, and one of the centre bits will become a cam, so we can put Brahim Diaz and Messi in that role. And yeah, let me know in terms of tactics, what we should try. That is currently what we have, which should work in terms of going forward. This works quite a lot, but defensively, I'm not happy. I feel like depth, every, every time I bring that down, it doesn't really work. Every time I keep it at that, it doesn't work. Something in between this might be what works, but I don't know where it is. Maybe we need to change something of this. Maybe we'll go high depth and have it on drop back. I don't know. Or maybe we'll say pressure on heavy touch after possession loss or constant pressure. That would run us into the ground, though. No. But we'll need to possibly try out one of those. But yeah, to any episode, we can have a look at the uh, squad hub, show you how players are performing at this point of the season. I see Don uh, Donald has currently got three. Uh, He's got, currently got three clean sheets, more than obviously uh, Matt Manion had all season long in less games. Decatur are 28 out, uh, 21 and 8 currently as well. Liao 19 and 7. Uh, Baragun 11 and 6. Armada 11 and 4. Neres 9 and 6. Sandra Tonali 7 and 16. Messi 7 and 6. Incredible season from him. Uh, Hoshan 7 and 1. Tomorrow's are doing quite well. Solomak is doing fairly well. So back up right back is doing quite well. But in terms of players out on loan, this is one thing I wanted to show you. If we look at players that are on loan, real quickly, we've got, um, if we go to actual uh, strikers real quick, we've got Colombo with three goals in four involvements, playing for Vidal going up a plus two to a 76. We've got Lazetic here going up to a uh, 72. Out of Sporting, four goals and six in the Champions League. We also have a player, our homegrown talent, currently lined up, uh, uh, Lazio, who's gone up to an 84. With only two goal involvements in the Serie A, but obviously if we used him, he would be better. He is actually a homegrown talent, actually. He's just a random... If you're going to play that, I found. I thought he was a homegrown talent. Interesting. Obviously, he's got some incredible stats. 84 rated at this point. Maybe we'll bring him in in Season 2. Or if I should bring him back right now, let me know. Obviously, it would take away getting time from Armada and Liao. Or mainly Armada. But obviously, Ante I feel like we need to sell him. We're not using him at this point. He's a good player to have, though. That's why I kept him for this season, just in case we need a player. In case Armada or Liao got injured. That's why we kept him. And yeah, we've got some good players. Uh, players in good form. We are going to end the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications so you uh, so don't miss the video. Let me know down below possible formation changes, uh, tactics and whatever that you think we should try. What you think could work for this team. And they sent it back to bring in for season three. Because Pavard, maybe next episode with the CDM it will work more. I think that could be a, a huge boost for Pavard and uh, Av tomorrow. They'd have to do less defending. I think they'll have, they'll have a little bit more help. That's what would happen. And I think it could lower the uh, weight off them. But I'm going to uh, change Badagun's number here. If you have a number that you think uh, we could give him, I'm just going to quickly go through. This is kind of a long outro here. We could give him kit number 11, actually. Yeah, I like that. We're going to give him kit number 11. He's earned that number of his good uh, performances this season. I'm going to end the episode there. I'm going to stop waffling because it's been a long outro. It's been a long episode. And I'm not going to edit it straight away. Usually I edit my videos straight after recording. But I just don't have the energy right now to do it. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And goodbye.